call the Chief Government Whip. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, we all on this side of, of the House know that uh, small business is the absolute engine room of the economy. There are 2,101,607 small businesses in Western Australia alone, with over 218 um, to in, in Australia, but 218,152 in my home state of Western Australia. In WA, 512,000 people are employed by those small businesses. Mr Deputy Speaker, the Turnbull government is absolutely backing small business, and we always will. We're backing business with more competitive taxes to help them uh, invest, grow and employ more workers. As the Prime Minister has said repeatedly, jobs and growth is not just a slogan, it's actually an outcome. And more than a million Australians are now in work since this government was first elected back in 2013. It's an absolute credit, though, to the hundreds of thousands of businesses around the country who have actually taken the risk themselves. They've invested their own money. They've done the hard work. They've often mortgaged their house. And as I said, they often don't sleep at night either. They put in a massive effort and have given so many other Australians the best of all opportunities, which is, of course, a job. And often these are the businesses that give Australians their first job. The small businesses give Australians their first job and often their last job as well. I've seen this repeatedly in the southwest in my electorate and the transformation of someone who's been able to come off welfare and get into work. Um, the government is backing industry and small business, particularly to invest and create jobs. It is the central plank of our stronger economy that was set out in this year's budget. And the, government, the Turnbull government is delivering on that commitment. Employment is now at a record high of over 12.5 million Australians now in work. And the government has already legislated tax cuts for 3.3 million small, small and medium Australian businesses, employing 6.8 million workers. And this is a very key part of our 10-year enterprise tax plan. We've increased the unincorporated small business tax discount rate from 5 per cent to 8 per cent, up to a cap of $1,000. This rate will increase to 16 per cent by 2026-27. And a very key and important way we've supported small business is by lifting the small business entity turnover threshold from $2 million to $10 million. This measure has helped small businesses all over Australia. And one of the measures that we've introduced that I hear so much about when I'm out in my electorate is the $20,000 small instant asset um, write-off that we see in this bill here, the continuation of this extended by this bill to the 30th of June of 2019. And I talked to so many businesses for whom this has been such a great uh, benefit in their business. And on Saturday night, I was fortunate enough to attend the, South West, um, the Business Southwest Awards, they're the Small Business Awards, for the Southwest in my electorate. And they were held in Bunbury, and uh, I wanted to congratulate all of the winners and speak about some of the small businesses that are actually benefiting from the decisions we've made on tax and also this decision to extend the instant asset write-off. And I look at the winners and I see Nudge Psychological Assessment and Consulting, based in Bustleton and Bunbury. It's a private practice providing psychological services in areas in around educational assessment, EAP services, victims of crime counselling, workers' compensation and NDIS services. It employs a number of special, specialist clinical psychologists. It was also awarded the best business with five to ten employees. And the co-owner, Melissa Harrison, an absolute powerhouse in nudge um, psychological assessment and consulting, Melissa was named the business person of the year. What a great re result, Melissa. You've done a fantastic job. The major award winner, the business with zero to four employees, was the Barberia of Bunbury. It's a vintage style barber shop based in Bunbury. Adam and Sailor do just a fantastic job in uh, styling and cutting people's hair um, for everyone around the region, not just those in Bunbury. In the category of businesses with 11 to 20 employees, Constructive PD was the winner. They're actually a group of passionate local 
uh, people who are absolutely making their mark in what are landmark construction projects, innovative, cutting edge. Um, they've dedicated employees, led um, very, very competently by Ian Meacham. They're working so hard to provide quality building services in Western Australia. Ian was also runner-up in the Business Person of the Year Award. One of the major awards um, in the Small Business um, Southwest Awards was Sports Power of Bunbury and Eaton Fair. In 1978, a group of individuals had the absolute foresight to see an opportunity and the courage to actually have a go. Eight independent sporting goods retailers got together and formed a co-op called Sports Star. Their idea was very simple. Operating as a group offered greater advantages than trying to survive as individual retailers. Now, this strategy has been so successful um, that now this became Sports Power in 1985. The group has continued to increase its advertising and marketing presence and embarked on an expansion program that sees Sports Power with a significant network which is very highly regarded. In the major home-based business awards, I really want to talk about the Good Night Nurse. It's a fantastic, fantastic home-based business. The Good Night Nurse provides absolute expert help in helping babies and new mothers get through solving those sleep issues. Uh, when you talk to young mums, um, if there's something that challenges you most with a young baby, it's dealing with issues around sleep. Now, Emma Pollard is an absolute character, and she has an international following. She's providing in-house and phone consultations, as well as her very much sought-after public workshops. Uh, she established this business herself in 2008, um, and she is just an absolute character, a multi-multi-award winner from a home-based business. Emma does amazing work uh, helping not only babies uh, young babies, but toddlers sleep issues and with behaviours. And as I say, what an amazing business this is. I'm very, very proud of Emma and the work that she does. In the startup business sense, Eco Warehouse won a prize. Two um, a small family owned business, Michael and his wife and two young boys run Eco Warehouse from Bunbury. It's amazing and diverse uh, business. And so uh, this is just built around uh, a zero waste lifestyle. Or if you're becoming aware of issues facing um, and the challenges facing us, Eco Warehouse is the place to get help and advice. In the tourism section, the Small Business Awards, Holberry House of Nanup. Louise Stokes just um, offers people a wonderful getaway. It was built in the late 1980s but it was inspired by the classic two-storey English manor. It's very comfortable, it's a country style, and it's enhanced by antiques and collectibles, but mostly Louise is there. She is an amazing, amazing um, local entity in Nana. And in the retail sector, I need to mention Stepping Out. Again, established in 96, it's a local supplier of dancewear. This is small business people who take the opportunity who, who are really good at what they do. And stepping out, uh, Nicole and her team are a wonderful example of that. And uh, they invested, Nicole invested her own money. She believes so strongly in this and she's filled a fabulous niche. And providing um, a leading supplier of dancewear and accessories to dancers and dance schools throughout Australia, from based in Bunbury. It's a massive range to choose from and they are absolutely committed to delivering high quality service. That's what small to medium businesses do. They deliver high quality service. And I know Sienna Dean from Stepping Out was one of the uh, entrants in the finalists in the Employee of the Year Award. In the Industry Award 3D HR Legal that provides specialist employment law services for business, they were the winner. In the Industry um, Award for Construction, Mining and Manufacturing, it was the Caravan Doctor based out of Bustleton. And uh, people can just drop off their caravans for a service with worry, without worrying. It's a drive through yard. So they know their market. And that's what small business does so well too. Like the Caravan Doctor, know their market and provide what their customers need and people keep coming back. 
and that's what's so good about small businesses. Keep Filtration won the Aboriginal Business of the Year and the Young Achiever Award too. And Daniel McMillan from H and H Automotive was the employee um, of the year. So I, I really wanted to mention all of those small businesses, Mr. Deputy Speaker, not just because they won awards, because these are the people who actually had the courage to invest in, in a business that they believed in. Often it was a brand new business and a brand new idea, and they did it so well. And the process that Business Southwest runs in enabling the businesses through becoming, uh, be applying as part of the application process in this business of the year, going through their individual businesses actually gives them the capacity to look at their business as well, work, as, well as working in their business. And on the night I heard so often that that process was so valuable to each one of those small businesses because they actually stepped back and had to look at their business um, in almost um, a hands-off approach. And they've all really benefited year after year, those businesses that come back um, actually have learnt so much about their business and what else they need to do to actually progress and grow their business and grow their actual profits. The process has been very useful. The other thing that's also worked very, very well for them is the support they've received from Business Southwest. And I wanted to thank Business Southwest for everything they've done for the small businesses in the whole of the Southwest. Um, Robin Morris um, as the chair of the board and Fiona Fitzgerald and her fabulous team. They have just offered extraordinarily valuable services. I've recommended them so often to small businesses in my part of the world and they've been very, very much part of the success of many small businesses. And they actually don't just provide the support, they provided the care in for the employees, the family members and the businesses more generally. So the measures in this bill, um, defining the turnover uh, of small businesses to 10 million is one of the biggest issues. It's, it's one of the biggest things to happen to small business taxation in generations. It comes from our deep commitment and acknowledgement and understanding as a government um, about what small to medium enterprise actually is. And uh, a small business that has a turnover of up to 10 million I have quite a number of these in my electorate, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, and uh, they uh, certainly um, appreciate this opportunity uh, from what's in this bill. And allowing businesses to grow by extending the $20,000 uh, instant asset write-off for a further 12 months, this really impacts for businesses of up to $10 million. They can repeatedly buy assets um, that cost, um, you know, eligible assets costing less than $20,000 that were first used or installed ready for another year um, to June 30th of 2019. And this really matters to small business, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, it can be something as simple as an oven if you're in a um, in the hospitality sector. And I have so many of these types of businesses, as well as those in the small manufacturing and construction space. Each $20,000 um, amount matters, and each new piece of equipment gives them the opportunity to grow their business and employ more people in my part of the world. And I want to see more and more of the small to medium enterprises now because they can, as a result of this legislation, take advantage of this $20,000 instant asset write-off. And uh, um, I want to just finish by saying to each of those small businesses, Mr Deputy Speaker, a huge thank you. Achieving, helping the government in its ambitions to make sure that we, we um, see over a million more people in work, that comes back more frequently to the work and the efforts of people in small to medium businesses. And I wanted to say thank you to each one of those. Thank you for the fact that you actually had the courage to invest, to follow your passions, but to take a genuine commercial focus on your business, as we saw at the Small Business Awards on Saturday night in Bunbury, and to all those people who don't sleep at night but those who at times I heard, I think on the night, the nudge financial, the, the nudge um, uh, psychological services, I think they said at the end of their first full operating month, they'd made the princely profit of $1.40 um, and they grew their business from there. I think that was the amount, I'm not 100% sure, but it was some small amount 
Um, but they persisted, and that's what small businesses do, and that's why this government will continue to support their efforts. I thank the Chief Government Whip.